Hi, welcome to a new video. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my YouTube channel. I also have my window open if you're hearing any any outdoor noises. That that is why. Maybe birds and or a car or whatever goes on outside, that's why, because you're sitting right next to the window. Um, please grab your water. I am I'm trying to up up my water intake because I've just been slacking lately. I just don't get as much water in when it's cold out and my skin suffers and gets really dry. So I'm trying to up my intake. Also, I dented the rim of my water bottle and now it leaks. Hydro Flask has a, a warranty program, so I might have to make a claim on this. The really unfortunate part about that is if the claim is accepted, they want my water bottle, they want this, so I will lose all my stickers. Am I holding back making the claim because I am attached to my stickers? Yeah, yeah I am. But I, maybe I will eventually do that because the leaking is a little obscene, I hate it. Uh, it leaks all over my car and all over my life. You win some, you lose some, I guess, but welcome to a new video. I'm happy to have you. I'm just gonna do a quick little intro here because I don't have much to, to say about this. Thank you so much for coming. I hope that you enjoy it and that you're having a, an all right day. So far, for me, it's only 10.50 a.m. So, so far I've had a pretty good day. I didn't sleep last night, but that's not gonna hold me back. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> so I will see you at the end of the video. Thanks again for coming. I hope that you like it again. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button if you have not. What are you doing if you're not subscribed, you know? Best YouTube channel on, on YouTube, best channel. Um, I'll see you at the end of the video. Roll, roll the clips, roll the clips. The amount of tape on this though. What, I can't even imagine is this a whole roll of tape? Just wondering. See how she looks. Pretty cute. And there's the tape on paper. It came out a little blurry. It's just like soft. It's not crisp. It kind of suits the vibe of the design, which is nice. That the design is supposed to be like blendy and soft, but it's just a little blurry. long span of non-talking clips so I thought this would be just the prime opportunity to throw a voiceover in the middle of this video. I personally love a video where my creator that I am watching is just talking at me. So I'm gonna talk at you. Welcome to my voiceover. I got this order and it is the cutest. The design work in this order is unmatched. Please check out this artist. The stuff I got is so, so cute. I've been getting back into watercolors lately. 
I haven't used watercolors for a long time, but people still recognize me as a watercolor artist, even after two or three years of not really using them. I'm more of a gouache girl now. I've been kind of exclusively using gouache for a few years and loving it, but I've been getting a, just a smidge bored with it. So I've decided to get back into watercolors and I picked up these watercolors at a art supply thrift store here in Cincinnati that I just love. I did a little collaboration with them and I went in and did a little video to show what I would buy. I don't know how to explain it, but I went in and got these watercolor paints and I'm really excited to use them. I haven't officially used them yet besides testing them, but I am excited, very excited. I also have been doing a lot of digital work. Like I've said, I think in my one of my last videos, I said I got the Retro Max Pack, which is like a gouache Procreate brush set and it has changed my digital art life. I talk about this all the time on Instagram. I feel like I've talked about it on videos, but I can't get over it. I actually enjoy digital art. It feels really natural for me with these brushes. I don't know what happened, but as soon as I got these brushes, I was like, I love digital art, where before I was like, I don't know, I mean, it's fine and easy-ish because I don't have to get out art supplies, but also really hard in a weird way. And then I got these brushes and I was like, oh, I'm just painting. So it's that nice merge between my traditional art comfort zone and digital art. I'm thrilled, you know? So shout out to the Retro Max Pack for bringing me into the digital art world. I'm now a professional digital artist. I'm thrilled about it. I can't wait to see where my new career takes me. <laughs> On a side note, shop update prep and sorting these postcards just always takes a little longer than I ever, ever imagined it would. I can't ever do shop update prep justice on a video, and I also can't seem to do shop update order packing justice on a video. The amount of time it takes is, is just beyond my wildest dreams. And I, I don't know how else to say it, but it is. Um, so yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that's that's all I've got for this voiceover. I, I'm gonna conclude talking at you. Thank you for listening in to my little voiceover. I hope that you like the video. Bye bye. Kisses, XOXO. <laughs>this moment to thank our sponsor Pila. Thank you Pila for sponsoring this video. Pila is a compostable phone case brand and they come in so many different colors and even patterns to fit whatever style you may have. I love the soft comfortable feel of these cases. I am so happy with mine and I just got this new green one that I styled with a Studio Maggie sticker and it couldn't be cuter. If you want to get yourself your own compostable phone case you can use the code LEE to get 40% off if you are within the first 50 subscribers to use the code after that you can get 25 percent off your order thanks again to pila for sponsoring this video you the best what up it's this thing is in my space <laughs> big muscles hey it's wednesday february 23rd don't be alarmed, James just started a load of laundry. If you hear machine noises, I don't have robots. James is just doing laundry. What's going on? I haven't spoken on the vlog for what feels like forever, but for you, it's gonna feel like no time, I think. I have no idea what kind of footage I have for this, but um, I got a little, little updates for you. Here we go.
Last week around, like the beginning of last week, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, I went and looked at a studio in my neighborhood. So this is a studio space I can walk to. This is a must have for me. Was I looking for a studio outside of my home? Kind of. My roommate sent me a post on Instagram where someone was like, hey there, we have a couple studio spaces, send some pics. And I was like, you know what, I'll email this lady. I love emailing. I sent her an email and I was like, hey, I'm interested in viewing these studios. Cause why not? So I went to go look at the studios with James. It was good vibes in there. We walked up the stairwell, turned the corner, and then a dog ran at us. A friendly little pit bull cutie. And I was like, I already feel comfortable because there is a dog in my midst. We turn left right into the first studio and there's like eight windows going around this weird L-shaped room. To be frank, the room is very weirdly shaped, but bigger than my current studio. James and I left after the tour, talked about it for a little bit. The tour lady slash landlady slash I don't know what to call her. Her name's Sarah. I'll call her Sarah. Was saying that she was gonna show the studio to some other people. So James and I kind of talked about it throughout the day, seeing if I kind of wanted a studio outside of my house, if it was necessary, pros, cons, blah, blah, blah. I decided to take it. I had to decide within that day because other people were coming to look at it the next day. I'm on camera. Can you leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. <laughs> at the beginning of March, it being again, February 23rd, at the beginning of March, I'm going to officially have a studio space and I'm going to have to move into it and like get stuff for it, like furniture. And so that is one thing. Am I really overwhelmed by the idea of moving my studio? Yeah. Am I really overwhelmed with the idea of concocting another studio space after I feel like I just kind of made this one really nice? Yeah. Do I have any furniture? No. I technically have two desks. These shelves are built into the wall and then my little blue shelves and otherwise like I don't have any furniture. So I'm gonna have to like rethink all my storage, shelving, um, no closet situation. So that's a whole thing I'm not tackling yet, but it is on my mind. It's very much on my mind. So I officially will be moving into a studio next month. Really nervous, feeling weird, but excited. I've never had a space that is outside of my home to work in, so that will be something. It will be something. I can't tell you what yet, because I've never done it. Because I'm moving studios, I want to get rid of a lot of my inventory. I have a huge inventory of all my old prints, so I'm gonna do a shop update where I add two new postcard sets that I talked about in my last video. The landscape postcard set and then the bird postcard set came in, but it is all B grade level. The print got a little bit messed up. So I'd be selling those B grade. I have a few new stickers to add to my shop and then some washi tape and the mega sale on prints. Did I say that? Um, so I kind of want to clear that out before I move because I'm not trying to move all of these postcards down the street. It just wouldn't be fun. They're very heavy and there's many of them. Right now I am concocting a shop update for hopefully the end of the week. It's Tuesday, it's Wednesday today. So I would love to be able to have it by Friday, but I don't know if that will happen because I don't have product photos for everything. And it has been dreary dark lately. And I like the sunny, sunny vibes of my studio that people kind of recognize. And it's more, it's almost a brand at this point. And I'll probably just have a sudden shop update. I love to have an unplanned shop update. I don't know if anyone notices. I notice that other artists will post their countdowns for a shop update like two weeks in advance. And I'll do like 12 hours in advance. I'm like, hey, everyone get ready. It's updated. I'm not good at planning ahead and I never know exactly when things are gonna work out. And I also don't like to wait, like once things are all squared away. I'm gonna aim for a shop update at the end of this week. And if not at the end of this week, I will do it at the beginning of next week and try and clear out as much as I can out of this stewed so I can go to a new stewed. Who am I? New stewed? That's crazy.
This was my first design. It looks like a live, laugh, love sign. I'm sorry to me. Uh, second design is much cuter. It doesn't really fit the vibe of the postcards, but it fits the vibe of I like it. <laughs> Since I wasn't able to take product photos today, I decided to sit down and design the closure stickers for my new postcard set. The bird postcard set is going to have this little guy who you've seen. This was a very easy design for me. I only had to take two takes and like barely any thinking or sketching. On the other hand, trying to figure out the landscape one my new printer doesn't do gray tone so it only does black so i don't have as much freedom as i used to so it kind of stumps me a little bit plus like a design to represent landscapes wasn't clicking for me i didn't have like any ideas my mom was empty and i just kept drawing trees and i was like so i decided to try and do like a little polaroid looking thing i did like a little landscape in the Polaroid picture area and then I wrote landscapes under it that's supposed to look like someone wrote it aka me <laughs> I don't know if it really comes across as a Polaroid though is my only thing like I, I think like the concept is cute but it doesn't scream this is very much obviously a, a Polaroid does it am I gonna use it anyways because I even if you don't get it I still think it's pretty cute probably I'm gonna say probably I'm gonna do that. I needed these done before I did product photos anyway, so I'm just gonna print a bunch of them and cut them as prep for the shop. I spent most of the day doing podcast stuff, which was a bummer. I didn't get to do a lot of shop update stuff, but I did list all of my new items without product photos. That's kind of what I'm missing. Let me look at my to-do list. I need to, ooh, I get to cross stuff off. Yes. Yahoo! I did the closing stickers. I need to take product photos. I wanted to check how many mailers I have. Check if my printing, oh no, my, not my printing, my shipping prices are still correct. Since I don't do shipping anymore, James does the shipping, I don't get to see how much shipping changes, which is something that I update constantly and I haven't really asked him to do it. So I just need to double check on that, that I have shipping prices correct. And then I need to make promo images for social media. So like that kind of just is sitting on the product pictures. That's kind of it. If I don't have enough mailers, that's gonna push back the shop update, but I think I should be able to at least update the shop and order the mailers and it should work out fine. Even if I don't have enough, but I probably do. Okay.
It is Thursday, February 23rd. You may be hearing James putting dishes away downstairs. I wanted to take product photos as you knew, but the sun's not gonna come out until this weekend. Like maybe, it's like a chance. So I walked into my studio today and I was like, I think it's, so sorry about the noises. I think it's too, dark for photos but i'm gonna try it anyways i started to take the photos and i was like you know what these aren't bad and i was editing them i imported them to my computer and they just look so dull it's like they look very dull next to my other product photos i have like my older ones um which is sad but true I really thought it was going well. Still gonna use them. I might still wait until the sun comes out and just take like the main photo. The landscape postcard one turned out the best though. And that was the one I was most worried about. So that's kind of a plus. I literally imported them into my computer and I was like, something has to be wrong with this importing because I thought they looked great and so bright. Wrong Al. They look totally fine. If I wasn't me and sunlight through my windows wasn't my brand, it wouldn't be a big deal at all. I'm sorry, this is a little blurry. It, it seems to be my brand. So I'm gonna try and make them work regardless. I've tried to do this before and I, I talked to James earlier today and I was like, whenever I take product pictures when it's cloudy, I get so frustrated and they're so ugly. And he was like, what a funny problem to have. The sun controls my business.
It is the day of my shop update. It's 11.20 and my shop officially opens at 12. So this morning, I spent some time making a reel to promo my shop update and like announce it on Instagram. And I've never made a reel out of photos before, but I did today. And definitely something I've never done before and or took me so long because I have no experience. Like I can't believe how long it took me and how simple it looks. Like it took me like an hour to make a 30 second video of just pictures going like and transitioning. Um, I just couldn't figure out how long pictures should be on the screen for them to be like readable where videos make more sense to me for some reason. So it just took me a long time. <laughs> Like it turned out cute, but like, did I need to do that? I don't know. I typically just post like a little carousel of my product photos, but I did that a couple days ago to announce that the shop update was coming. So I was like, let me do something a little different. Okay. But I mean, it is what it is. It's kind of cute, but it's kind of just like, why'd she do that? But I opened my shop at 10 a.m for my patrons and during that time I was still working on the reel and I was making a cover image for the reel. So I didn't really look up for like an hour to like check if all the Patreon people were doing well on the shop or if it was working because when I work on reels and video editing, I'm like zoned in. And I realized that I had a few things in my shop marked way too low. The prices were way too low. And I think it's because I was so honed in on getting the inventory right. Like that's always the thing that I mess up. And I was just not concerned about the prices, I guess. So I sold a big chunk of my washi tape for like half the price I would sell it for. That was a bummer, but at least it was to my patrons who support my livelihood and my life every single month. So it's not too much of a bummer. And I did sell them above cost, which was cool. I did end up raising the prices of a few items. Tis what tis, it was my bad. I was really upset when I found out and now I'm like, who cares? I had a good little short cry and then I was like, wait, who cares? So I'm feeling pretty good about it now. My shop opens in 37 minutes from now for the general public. I'm hoping I still have some things left because my patrons always come on and they're like, I'm gonna buy everything, which I love. And then all the other people are like, why do you have nothing in your shop? I'm like, my patrons bought it. Give me a break. But thank you to my patrons for letting me have this soft opening so I didn't open my shop to the general public, my str strangers, you know? and sell them stuff way underpriced. I'm excited to have it open and just get some stuff out of my studio because my shelves are burstingly full with inventory and it's gotta go. So I invited Grace over this weekend to pack orders and we can truck through some orders and get some stuff moving on out of here because I gotta get some, some things out of the studio so I can move it. Just like a lot going on, you know? Just like a lot going on. The shop has been open for 42 minutes. Seems to be going fine. Every, everything is going fine. Luckily, I did the little test run with my patrons, so we could see if everything was going well, and it seems to be no one's asking about there's a bug in here. Bye, bug. He is just flying everywhere. Haven't been getting any questions about shipping or any problems, so I'm gonna leave the studio. There's something about a shop update energy that is way it's so hectic and my brain is going in a million different directions and i have deadlines within hours and i'm like ding 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 so i'm gonna leave the studio chill for a little bit um don't be alarmed i did change my shirt probably think it's a different day but it's not and i'm gonna leave i'm gonna go visit one of my friends who works at a coffee shop downtown and i'm gonna chill so hard baby I'm gonna chill so hard. Maybe I'll find something to treat myself for all my hard work. <laughs> Hi again. We're at the end of the video. I hope it was good. I think it was. I actually kind of liked it. I had a lot of footage I had to sort through and I have a little bit extra from before my shop update situation that I'm gonna have to somehow merge into another video because I, I like the footage so my next video might be interesting uh 
we like interesting. The shop update went really well. I got lots of orders, so thank you for anyone who supported or looked at, at the shop, the pictures I took or watched this video, whatever. You don't have to buy anything to support me. A view and a like on a video is like way more than enough. So thank you so much for your support on any, any platform. Grace came over this weekend and helped me pack some orders. James is working on packing orders right now, but I had to kick him out to film this. <laughs> Kicked out. <laughs> Today is March 1st, so I should be signing my lease for my new studio and getting the keys today sometime. Who is she, you know? I hope you liked all my little toad sound effects in this video. Yeah! I really like them. I think they will be a little alarming, but I mean... Yeah! Who's gonna stop me, huh? Is it gonna be toad? No. Yeah! He's gonna go, yeah! Whoa! Okay! <laughs> I want to give a big shout out to my little puppy patrons. Thank you for supporting me and giving me the time to make these videos in the middle of a shop update and moving studios and you all are so awesome. So thank you for supporting me. I am forever grateful for your puppy life on my puppy patron page. So peace and love to you. Um, and thank you everyone for watching this video. I truly appreciate you watching it to the end. Some, pe some people don't watch to the end, so you are special. You are special. Like the video, subscribe to my channel if you made this at the end and you are not subscribed, you will love it. This is a YouTube channel that is on YouTube. You will love that. I know you like other YouTube channels, so this one's kind of like, just like those. I'll see you around, bye. Bye. Bye bye. I'm super tired today, so the dancing is at a minimum. Very tired. I could sleep. Actually, that's the problem. I can't sleep. Cheers.